Tattoos and hip hop, we got the guard, DB Elliott's Cry. Niggas run, but to no avail. About to, you know what I'm saying? Give it up, you know what I'm saying? With the, the arm. You already know, Babalu Machete. So, what's up, Babalu Machete? Tattoos and hip hop. You know what I'm doing, man? Another legend coming in the door, man. Word. Yo, DV, let the people know, you know what I'm saying, how you got started off in this industry, man. I mean, well, I got started running with Smoother Hustler and Trigger the Gambler. You know what I'm saying? Like, we started doing music. Well, we was dancing first. That's what we was doing. The dancing shit started. Then, from the dancing, we elevated into the, into the music. You know what I'm saying? I always was rapping. I mean, I always was singing. And then Smooth showed me how to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like he put the training wheels on. You feel me? Like he wrote he wrote my first rap. You know what I'm saying? That was like oh. my training wheel. You feel me? And then from there, then boom, it just turned into what it became. That's dope. That's dope. So um. I mean, you done been around long enough, you know what I'm saying, to see how this hip-hop game evolved, man. Right. You know, how, how, you know, you feel that, you know what I'm saying, the game is evolving. Because I know you got a lot of inputs on, you know, what the elders of the, this hip-hop game should do versus the youngins, you right. know what I'm saying. So explain to the people, you know what I'm saying, your mind state as far as this game. I mean, I look at it like it's open field, man. Like... It's a it's a it's a big business. You see what I'm saying? So with them being in this big business, there's a lot of opportunities within this business. So it's all on how you capitalize on those opportunities. You see what I'm saying? Be so. I capitalized on the game from by from failure. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't mean like as if I actually failed. You see what I'm saying? But from the factors of knowing that things didn't go the way that I wanted them to actually go. So from those situations, I, I learned, you know, how to pivot myself, you know what I'm saying? And how to take a few risks at the same time too. You feel me? So. That's, that's, well, you know, like you said, you've been in the game for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Since, you know, what, what is it, like 95, 96? Shit. A little earlier than that, I want to say about 92. 92, wow. See, so, you know, you, this is one of the brothers that you could, you know, you could actually learn from. So this, it should be a, a very educational, you know what I'm saying, series right here. Right. Like, um, because back then, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the things that we have now, like internet, uh, you know, you didn't have, you know, like the point system wasn't the same back right. then. And uh, explain, you know what I'm saying, to these people the things that you had to go through in the industry as far as, you know, actually, you know, making a, a mark in this industry. I mean, it took a lot of sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? And it took a lot of dedication. I mean, for me, and it took a lot of risk because in the time that I was singing and rapping, it wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, to sing on some hardcore shit, it's like... You know what I mean? Like, nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah. That was some shit. I was just talking about that record. Right See, that's crazy. <laughs> I used to bump that shit when I was wearing Bobo Lua Chase and Manny Zap. Manny Zap. Chase on the lap, listening to that shit. What? <laughs> I always wonder what happened to all these cats. You know what I'm saying? I got that cool, so yeah, look up for you. Word. Full circle, you know what I'm saying? I mean. Fuck the money, 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 fu
six year rule is over, they need violence. So black lives matter only matters to one logic, uh huh, to one pocket, uh huh, high two pocket, uh huh, Christ the topic, harp killing the tropics. Let's go. Government officials, my war will balance profits. Uh -huh. Civilize the blind, my mind is that of a prophet. The rap emotet, healing artists with God's strength. The fact still remains, I'm God in every sense. That's right. Created in his image, my bars make you repent. Uh -huh. Sin was only given to those to test the man, so a testament is given, protecting you from your sins. Come on! Fuck the money, get your mind right, cuz. Uh -huh. We unify and this shit is over. Uh -huh. Police ourselves and recruit our own soldiers. Why? Listen. Removal of the dollar, uh -huh. digital currency. Obama endorsing Hillary. Signs of the time, Nostradamus didn't envision shit. They wrote the pages in the book that made us read it. That's right. How the fuck you gon' program a programmer? Uh -huh. Seen the simulation through nights of meditation. Stuff. Different variations of the same image. Uh -huh. Only meant to confuse, tell lies the vision. I'm what the game is missing. Uh -huh. Devil tried my mission. Uh -huh. Couldn't last one night. He asked for God's forgiveness. Amen. Like, we had people like you, we had Nate Dog, right. you know, who came into the game with the harmonizing. So, you know, it, it, it took a minute, but people had actually adapted to that time. Right. Like, um, as far as your experience, how, like, how was your time as far as when people was adapting to that sound? Repeat that question. Like when people was adapting to the sound right. of, of harmonizing to hardcore hip hop, what was your experience as far as when you do you when you was doing it? I mean, it was different. Like people was li listening to me like if I was a flying saucer or some shit. <laughs> nah, for real. Like I would rhyme sometimes and like it'd be quiet as hell. Like nobody be talking. Wow. Yeah, I'm not making this shit up, bro. Like people be quiet. And then when 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 the song stopped, then everybody start yelling. That's wow. Crazy. That's when you know you got that nah, song listening. Real, like it was crazy because like we was doing like Maria Davis, you know, um, um, the S um at Esso back in the day for people, you know, the heads, you know what I'm saying? And we was we was doing um we was doing Esso, and um, around that time Jay Z. Jay-Z was performing. You know, Jay-Z was performing. A few people was performing. And then after I would get off the stage, you know, Jay would um, come, um, like I would leave. That would be my thing. Like I would perform and I would leave. Like, that was my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I would leave, you know, Jay would come behind me and be like, yo, that shit you was doing, that, yo, that shit is crazy. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so, I mean, my experiences was weird, though, man. Like, I, I got to say that because I didn't really expect, I didn't expect people to gravitate to me the way that they did. You know what I'm saying? Like, my voice is unique. But it's not only harmonizing. It's harmonizing with your voice. The voice that you got. The voice is it's crazy. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, it's crazy because harmonizing ventures. I mean, you came with it again, but remember when Cold Crush, Fantastic Five, they used to harmonize as a group when they used to rap, you know what I'm saying? So when he came back, he was like, yo, it's like a fresh air of that old school shit, but a new school type shit. And bro. it's crazy he's saying that because when, really? when me and you was talking, I was telling you that was, that's what inspired me. You know, T.J. Swoon, <laughs> when I heard T.J. T.J. Swoon was the price of that time, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Like, Word. not, you know, I know this, not, I'm not saying that, you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I just think a lot of the music that I was influenced by, I became, and I became a hybrid version of it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Of course.
Like, I became a hybrid version of the shit that I listened to. And I became a student of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, see, for you, you we got to ask you twice. Like, back then when you were starting, like, who was your influences? Uh, KRS One. Ah. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. Hit and Play. Ooh, okay. Um, Bismarck. I was just thinking about the job. Um, who else? I got a lot, man. Hold on. Um, that's the Sonic. Oh, that's the Sonic. Chub Rock. Um, De La Soul. Of course, that was the first tape I ever bought. Yeah, you know what shout mean? out to Mace, yo. Shout out to Mace. Um, let me see. Um, What you thought about the R? What I thought about Rakim? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't really know what any of what he was saying meant at the time until I got older. But his his rhythm patterns and how he put it together always it always caught my attention. You dig what I'm saying? Like on a whole other type of time. You got older, you you know, did some research and stuff. Now you can yeah, understand I mean, a lot more. Yeah, and then, you know, once I got the God degrees, it was like, mm -hmm. okay, I understand what the God is saying now. Like, I yeah. get it. You feel me? Like, it made perfect sense at that point. Word. Like, um, for you too, you know what I'm saying? This question goes for you too now. Like, yo, what's in your playlist? Like, who's your top five? Of today's uh, time, we know who is going on today, in. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, um, Rick Ross, fuck with Ross. Um, I would say that, man, like. Kendrick and Rick Ross? That was only two. You don't, you don't got three more? I mean, like, and, and I'm not saying that just on some trendy shit, but like, that's, they, they've been consistent. But like, for me, you know, when I'm in the gym, I work out, you know what I mean? Like, like and the, the musicality, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know, you know me, my nigga, like, I respect the musicality factors and shit, you know what I'm saying? So... He still got a lot of shit. Yeah, man. Like I'm, I'm looking he, he, he at that. He selects his producers, though. Right. He selects his shit. Uh -huh. That's good. So, you know, I so, mean, I'm trying to. Oh, Davies. 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 Shout out to my nigga Fuchlo, the homie Fuchlo. Um, they all like Cole. I like, I like Don Q. Don Q. I like J. Cole. Uh, Audio Push. Audio Push. Um, I like that whole crew. Yeah. I like the whole TDE crew, J. Rock, Q. Yeah. Yo, I was speaking to my nigga Irk, man. He said something real to me. He was like, yo, in order to be great, you gotta surround yourself around greatness. I was like, <laughs> I have arrived in the form of I'm alive, in the form of a surprise, in the form of I ain't die, in the form of why it didn't come out sooner, in the form of a lunar eclipse, I come newer. And how it changed lives and destroyed them at the same time, and how it could put your friends against you, cause you have more shine, or rock more shines. How you could be loyal you and get done like Sean I'm still on my grind, still ahead of my time Still I'm underrated, but yet I'm still in my prime A lot of careers made it right before my eyes Some grew so, now that they blew They see me and ride by like <laughs> But guess who's laughing, guess who's passing Guess who's asking me for advice Cause their careers ain't lasting I leave that for you to figure out, scream out I can't help it, I'm so passionate I live every word I say I can't imagine my life tragic I die before it is that way The curtains about to close in 15 minutes I appreciate the standing ovation cause I know I have arrived with a drive like a Maybach I make music 
music, I don't sell crack no more But the game seems similar once I came through the door I love getting that off the book money on tour I call it mattress money Cause when you get it, just stick it in your mattress money I surpass you dummies who make ignorance cool So I school these rappers like a teacher do My voice speaks out to touch a few nerves You got nerve to curve your mouth funny like I'm lying I got what the streets need Sport, whether you buy it, try it You might dig it like a shovel Brooklyn way back, we never left the bubble It just went pop, raised a few levels And I got stake in that Put a little bit of A1 Ay, One man can't do it by himself So I brought Irk here to help The show must go on I can't help it I'm so passionate, I live every word I say I can't imagine, my life tragic I die before it is that way The curtain's about to close in 15 minutes I appreciate the standing ovation cause I know I can't help it, I'm so passionate I live every word I say I can't imagine my life tragic I die before it is that way Ooh. The curtain's about to close in 15 minutes Ooh. I appreciate the standing ovation cause I know you got a lot of history brother Right Like um, earlier Y'all might, you know what I'm saying, not Y'all didn't see this on the season, you know what I'm saying, we recording this But I was on live feed and the brother was saying that I don't have a birth date because I'm, I'm forever living. This is the brother that's forever living. He's, you know, his music and his, the technicality on how he do his music is always going to live on. Right. And he have a history that, you know, that, that, that he, he's then performed and he did things with, with, with your favorite artists. You know, how, how, you know, I don't know if people actually recognize you as one of the legends of that time. But, you know, we consider you, you know what I'm saying, because during that time of 89 Tech 9, you know, I, I guarantee at least sometime during the show they played some DV Christ. You know what I'm saying? Stretch and Papito always yeah, yeah, yeah. played your joint. Yeah, so, Stretch and Papito. So, you know what I'm saying? If you, hip hop. Yeah, 89 okay. Tech 9. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, you know what I'm saying? They got their show out. And, you know, in the background, I believe, um, I believe uh, Red Man was doing this freestyle on it. You know what I'm saying? It was just aired, it just on aired on Showtime. Thing, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We heard, we heard your joint, you know what I'm saying, on that. So, if y'all don't know, he's been around since then. Yeah, since been then. A minute, man. Been a fucking minute, bro. I, God is good, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to say the F bomb after <laughs> you, yeah, but you know, God is good, man. I, I, I'm on bonus time. So, uh, like, you know, you're, you're a legend MC, father, you know? Yeah, three. Father of three. Son is 22, my, uh, my daughter is 12, and my youngest son is 11. Wow. Yeah. God bless you, man. Yeah, man. I'm my baby. You got the kingdom. Yeah, two, king, two kings and a queen. And how they feel, you know what I'm saying, that they, they pops is D.B. Elias Christ? I mean, you know, they, 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 they call me Kenny. You feel me? Like, they, <laughs> they, 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 they know all of that shit. Like, my, my, my son, like, my youngest son, he'll brag about me. My oldest son, he lit. Like, he, he love when I rap. He listen to my music. He's like, yo, dad, you one of the illest niggas ever. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Up. Like, for real. Like, he be listening to me like that. It's, that's insane that you could. Because he watched me record myself and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? My, my kids love my music though, like my my my, my youngest son, he, he got my my shit on his Spotify and all that. You know That's I'm dope. Yeah. You know, my daughter, she more into like writing, she writing a book right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so okay. she more into, into that, I bought a little laptop, so she writing a book right now. Ooh. And my youngest son, he in the sports, he in the football and shit like that. And my oldest son, like, he got so many talents, man, like, he rap, he sing, he Engineer, he played chess, he played the trumpet, you know, he played basketball. Like, Titanic. Yeah. He got that TV blood. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm truly blessed. For real. Uh, that's what's good, man. That's what's good. 
Yeah. Eso es lo que sembraste. Un <laughs> abrazo. Right. Que te sembraste yo. Sembraste una cosecha buena. No. Oh, don't, 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 don't look surprised. DV got that Latin blood in him too. <laughs> Don't look surprised. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Word, word, man. So, um, let the people know, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on, DV. I mean, I got my new record label, The Jeans Up Bank. Well, it's not really new. I mean, I've been in business for some years now. Um, government officials, shout out to my homie, Big Dre, you know. I mean, a, a lot of what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm, I'm about to have the next Interscope. Dope. I'm gonna just keep it simple. Like I'm gonna have the next in the scope, the, the next, the, the next label. I know the business. I know the game. I've been through enough of it. I think for that is one of the reasons why, in all my years, I decided not to to, to to sign to to any of my peers. You know what I'm saying? Like because I feel, I mean, even for Jay, like when I saw him one time, he was just like, "Yo, man, this shit nothing for niggas like us." So you know when you get spoken to in that manner, you gotta reach deep inside and, and, and look at you know like yo, you sent here to do something a little bit more than just be an artist. You know what I'm saying? So I want to contribute, and I feel like I have a new business model that that I want to introduce to the music industry that's going to be beneficial for the, the 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 future of the business and the future of the artists. You know what I'm saying? And the future of artists really reaping the true benefits of their career. You know what I mean? Let's go. Like, I own all my shit. I own all my publishing, all my masters, to everything. To everything. And, and it was said to me one time, somebody, I don't remember who it was. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't blast some more. But he was like, well, you own all of it, but it ain't worth nothing if it ain't out. <laughs> I said, yeah, but wait. Patience is, is a weapon. It's a weapon for anyone who's striving to do something to better themselves. So, you know, for me, the, the G's of Bank, it symbolizes uh, dynasty government supplying um, undeniable product. You know what I'm saying? The G's was down, but now we up. You feel me? Word. So, that's really what this shit is about, man. Uh, that's, that's dope. I, I mean, I can't wait. To, I mean, you got you got the government officials. Um, you got uh, Dezo. You know what I'm saying? You you know that's one of your artists. You got yeah. any other new artists? I'm, I'm working with a, a dope female female artist from Atlanta by the name of Hollywood Prada. She helping me run the, the In Crowd movement. It's just a, a collective of just a bunch of dope, talented people, and we just coming together to just. You know, to just put some dope shit out and not complain. Add on, you feel me? Um, I got a UK artist that I'm working with by the name of Lamari Esky, the Fly Hooligan. He's dope. He's got a project out right now. Me and him got a record out right now. Um, my artist Brent Butler, I'm working, you know, he, he's dope. Um, you said like, uh, rock, hip hop type shit. You said, uh, Bella T Patrick, uh, Cool. It was another dude that you was telling me about that you was working with uh, from uh, from overseas. Yeah, Lamariaski, the oh, okay. Yeah, 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 man. And you know, I'm, I'm working with uh, producer Killer Kasky from from you from the UK. Go oh. surplus, my homie Kid. Um, I don't want to leave nobody out. Uh, <laughs> Nick yeah. Wiz, my boy Sam Brown. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to Shamika Sykes. She handles a lot of my, you know, my, my publicity and getting my shit out there. My boy DJ Ice. I got a dope team, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, my homie Gadget, you know, Digital Hustle um, Media. And my homie Mark from New Zealand. He handles my marketing and design my websites and stuff for me. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed to have the people that surround, you know what I'm saying? Like. Everybody's for the movement, you know what I'm saying? Very like strong movement. Irk, Irk, you know, my homie Earth Irk Productions, like he worked on a lot of classic records for 50 and a few other people in the business, you know what I'm saying? So, I paid attention though. I was a, I was that young dude with an old soul though, you know what I'm saying? Like I hung around all the older dudes, they always put me under their wing. But they kept me out of trouble because they saw I was going to be something, you know what I mean? Like. 
I didn't get it at the time. I, I thought they were just picking on me, but they really wasn't. They were like my big brothers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to GP, man. Shout out to... I understand. That's what's up, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to GP. Shout out to the whole Herkimer. Whole, whole Herkimer Massive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Herkimer, to the whole yeah. Massive. You know what I'm saying? Smooth a hustler. My nigga Trey. My nigga showed me the street. Show me the game. Yo, on Herkimer? Yo, that was the first block I've been on. Where dudes was knocking niggas out for the eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah. You what? Get for your polo goose, nigga. Word. Yeah. So for your polo sweatpants. Y'all got it easy nowadays, kids. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rocking y'all jam sports. Niggas used to get raw for their jam sports and the strings. And the strings. And the strings. Used to steal your strings in, in class, nigga, while you <laughs> in there with your book bag. <laughs> <laughs> What was the experience working with this with, with this track? Oh my lord. Yeah. Um Lord have. Anthony and, and Danny from Lyricist Lounge, they had hit me up and they had this idea of us doing a record together. I jumped to the opportunity. I lied and told Lord that I I I, I, had, I did the beat. <laughs> that was giving you the short story, you know what I'm saying? And, he fell in love with it, and then once we got time to do it, I told him when he did it, which was not. And then that's how I, you know, was able to just speak and get knocked on the situation, because he wanted to go with another producer, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to get knocked the opportunity, because that's what I was working close with at the time, you know what I'm saying? And it just worked out. Man. He's another one. Back then, y'all both had that, 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 that ill, melodic Boy. sound, yeah. That's what, I mean, that's my brother though, like, I'm happy that they even paired us together because I met him and we just wound up becoming brothers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, brother. Fire. Constantine, nigga. <laughs> Word. Now, now we have to do the plug. Hawaiian <laughs> 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 oh, ink. Get some. <laughs> Put this on here. Let them know what you rock with. What's that? What's that? Let the this people is know. Hawaiian ink. My homegirl Heidi, she has a company called Hawaiian Egg. This helps repair the and heal the tattoo, keep it looking fresh. And you can also use it on your beard. You can use it on, on skin abrasions and things like that. It's made from all natural products. Very, very good. Pablo. What can I say, Chris Cartel, another one? Tattoos in hip hop, Pablo Machete. Yours truly, Chris Cartel, you already know. Yeah.